So we're gonna connect the device to the OBD port. The location varies from vehicle to vehicle. Uh, fifth generation Camaro, sixth generation, they're over on the left side. The C6 Corvettes are in the middle. Uh, they're all gonna be right here under the driver dash panel though. Uh, connect the device to your computer. At this point, open the VCM editor back up. Turn the ignition on. You're gonna go up here to read vehicle. Click the green icon, gather info. We are not going to read the fuel supply control module in most situations unless we instruct you that we need to get in there for turning some codes off like on the 6 gens and the C7s. Uh, the AFM valves and the exhaust, we'll need to turn some codes off uh, a lot of times for those. So we, we would need to go in there for that. Otherwise, do not read that. If you read that, you're going to have to apply a credit to that, which is going to cost you about 50 more dollars. Um, as you can see, this is an automatic car. Read entire on the engine, read entire on the transmission controller. You're going to select read. There we go. Once it reads the engine file, it will pause for about 15 or 20 seconds before reading the second module. And if you read the fuel supply control module, it will pause again before it reads the third module. I will note, 2017 and newer vehicles need to be connected. Uh, your laptop needs to be connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or you know, a wired connection, whatever, uh, when you go to read the file out of a 17 and newer vehicle because it actually has to be unlocked. Um, remotely uh, to gain access to read the file out. Oftentimes it's good on these later models to, I like to cycle the key off while this is rebooting and back on. The, uh, the push button cars like the 6 gens and the C7s will time out uh, and I've had them time out while it was in the middle of reading the transmission controller. Uh, and at that point, you have to reread the whole file again. Uh, so, cycle that ignition um, after it reads the engine file, or I like to, anyways. You, you don't have to. It can just prevent you from timing out and having to reread this file. We're going to save this. I'm going to show you where this location up, opened up. If you go to your documents, HP tuners, logs and tunes, I created a remote test folder, but you could save it in samples, which are, there are some default files that load with the program in there. You can create a new folder with your name, drop your files in there, however you want to do it, however you can keep up with it. We're going to save this one in here. Save. There we have it. At this point, you're going to take this file, uh, open up your email. You're going to go back through documents, HP tuners, tunes and logs. You're going to retrieve this file, attach it to the email, and email that to me at ryan at guatneyperformance.com. Attach a um, a mod list for the car, you know, what, what you've got done, what fuel you run on, uh, general usage of the vehicle, just the pertinent information so we can get a good base file built uh, to get in the car for it to start and run. Then we can begin the logging process.